Hello everyone, so in today's shave we're gonna open and try the Mula Companion um, to try it with we're gonna go with the Barasa White, I wanna remember how it is uh, I have a, a vague idea but it was a couple of months ago so I wanna try that again and um, because I'm, I'm gonna try the other Barasas in, in future videos so I wanna remind myself how this one feels but uh, the most important, Mula Companion. We're gonna open, see how it is packaged. Now on the back, you can see they're talking about the, the razor itself. Okay, oh, nice razor, there you go. I got mine with the cord teal, because uh, it's one of my favorite colors. Let's see what it comes in with, okay. I can see it came with a razor, with a razor, no, with a blade. So I would say that's what we're gonna use. Oh, it comes with a balm as well. Aloe vera balm from Moolah. So we'll use that as well. Uh, and it comes with a leaflet explaining everything for the ones that don't know how to use it. And that's basically how it comes packaged. Now let's take it out of the cardboard. Ooh, she's heavy. A really nice razor, I have to say. Really pretty. Don't know if you guys can see the knurling there. Really nice work by Mole. Nice. Wow. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous razor, I have to say. Oh, nice. So you can take the cord. Uh, you can take the cord out if you want, if you don't like the cord or swap or something. So it's a three piece razor. Nice knurling, I have to say. There's some uh, paper inside, protective paper. We're gonna take it and we're gonna get it ready. I'm gonna use the blade, the blade that comes with. So let's unwrap. Let's check out this blade. I don't know how it works, so never used any. It's a Mula uh, blade. I'm confusing myself there. It's blade, not razor. Uh, now, Mula there. I don't know if you guys can see blade. We're gonna try that. I'm gonna load up the blade there. It's really, really, a really nice razor, I have to say. I'm really surprised. Even all the pieces are really nice, like. Static wise really nice I have to say Now I'm gonna get I'm gonna have to get a, a rubber there um, I can't remember the proper name you use just to protect it But I'll do that in the future. Well, no overhanging brilliant so Good good stuff. I don't have to worry about the overhanging. Jesus this knurling is really really nice This knurling there really really nice I have to say so that's it. I'm gonna prepare my leather now. I'm just gonna take the package there. Oh, I'll leave it here. And I'll leave my bomb for the future. I'm gonna bull leather. I'm not gonna face leather. I'm gonna bull leather on my ceramic bowl. So I might cut off the, the leathering because everyone knows that Porasso just leathers fine. So, and you can see my previous video with Porasso white so I'm just gonna do this or fast forward we'll see how I feel about the editing there you go and I'm gonna use now nah, I'm gonna use my tea tree my synthetic I'm gonna just put in some water there there you go nice and here we go Yeah, uh, I remember this scent now. Nice lathering, really quick as always. So we're ready. Warm up my face. Gonna put some pre-shave. 
for us to pre-shave. Just quick. Here we go. For us, it's just easy peasy, cheap, consistent, you know what you're getting with it, really nice. Let's go, get ready for our first pass. And I, I can't wait to try the, the other ones, I would say they're very similar, just probably scent wise different, but we'll see in the next videos. I'm still waiting on the, the order, so we'll see. This white one is just lovely. Not a strong scent, but a lovely scent, relaxing, really nice on your face. There we go. And now for the, hopefully the start of the video. Mula Companion. Warm up the blade. And here we go. It's really, really heavy and, well, not really, it's it's heavy and it's really long, the, the handle. I don't think I have any razor that is has this long of a handle. So, we'll see. There we go. Hmm, it's a bit more aggressive than the, um, the admin gender. Feels like at least it has more um, blade feel than the Edwin Jagger. It doesn't look like it's very aggressive. So we'll see on the my neck area. That's my most sensitive area. So yeah, it's not a very aggressive razor. But it's definitely more aggressive than the, um, the Edwin Jagger V89. But not by much. But it is. It's very well balanced, I have to say. So. The only thing you probably would have to get used is this. I'm not used to feeling the cord there, so it's kind of strange. But, um, you know, like it. Yeah. And looks like it's very effective. We'll check now when I get ready for the second pass. But it does look very effective. Yeah, it's definitely more, um, more aggressive than the, the Edwin Jagger. And it's a bit strange for me as well to use this long handle, but, uh, but it's not bad, like you get used to it quick enough. And the other thing doesn't clog up, easy to easy to clean, so nice. Oh, I have cold water. I'm just gonna let the warm warm water come up. There we go. Warm it up, baby. There we go. So, area 
Yeah, it's definitely more aggressive. And you can feel it. But um but it's not um it's not an aggressive that you would be oof. No. It's a mild still I don't I don't know. Kind of going on to the medium, not the aggressive. It's not, a, it's not an aggressive ra uh, razor per se, but it's more aggressive than the, the 89. Yeah, this soap is lovely. You can always buff with it. So nice. We're ready for the second pass. Just gonna wet my face again. Go. Yeah. Very similar. Very, very similar. Yeah. Second pass. Very similar to the Edwin Jagger, which is the one that I used more. So that's what I compare it with. A bit more aggressive or a bit more um, blade feel. But um, in terms of efficiency, up there, it's basically the same, I would say. Yeah, I love these second passes, man. I just love second passes. This is my Zen moment of the shave. I love this second part there. I could stay here for hours just doing this. <laughs> but the video has to go on. There we go. Actually, let's close this before an accident happens. And warm up the blade. And we go across. Yeah, still modules, but a, a bit more. A bit more blade feel there but uh, very easy to to shave with very very easy this would be really good for ladies as well for their shower shaving i'm actually curious to try this on my head so i'll be doing that at some stage but not on video, that's my my time. My head shaves are on the shower and it's my time. So I'm definitely gonna try that. I've been using the lately the Hanson because you can barely cut yourself with that. Very easy to, to shave with this blade, uh, with this razor. Very, very easy, I have to say. Yeah. There we go. everyone is doing okay in this winter time today is a bit warmer because it, it rained around here in Ireland every time it rains which is often the place kind of warms up a bit I would love to know why that is. Alright, go. Yeah, really easy on the nose as well. Because it's very skinny there, so... Easy to shave on your nose, under your nose. Good stuff. Yeah, 
I'm enjoying this this razor and the knurling you can grip grip this easily besides being beautiful it's easy it doesn't slip at all lovely 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 so ready for the third pass against because we're definitely gonna do it there we go a few nicks there not much so third pass We got a bit more on the off the ball. I still have loads, but there you go. So don't fall. No need for that. Loads of leather still. Yeah, this for us is just something. For a really cheap cream, like it's lovely leather, lovely feeling on your skin. So, there's a reason why they've been producing for so long and they're all over the place. You can get it almost anywhere nowadays. Oh, right into my mouth. There we go. So, again, third pass. Let's do the bottom first. Yeah, and it's definitely more feel on the blade there. Yeah, it's a tiny bit more aggressive. So, definitely. Oh, someone is ringing my bell. One of my daughters will open it. So, be yeah, okay. Definitely, you can, you can feel a lot more blade, you can feel more aggressiveness compared with the, the, the Edwin Jagger. Now, it's not as aggressive, for example, on a Parker variant on a level 3 or 4, they're way more aggressive than this. But this is a, a nice, like, if you have a lot, of, a, a lot of growth beard, this is still, this will still go through it easily enough. Nice. You won't be that too mild of a razor that you have to do loads of passes and stuff. No. You won't need. It will be efficient enough for a heavy boat. I still have to say, I have to get used to this big handle. I'm not used to it. It's not bad, but um, I would have to get used to. In terms of the blade, I don't know what to say about it. It is smooth, but um, I would love to um, use other blades on this razor or that blade on a different razor that I know of. That way I could actually compare the, the blade. Um, I don't know, it looks smooth, it looks really sharp, but I can't compare it with something without trying on a different razor or trying other blades on this so that I can see what, what's the difference. But it's not a dull blade at all, so...
That's the main thing. As you guys can see, it's not a dull blade. <laughs> there you go. The complicated area. Easy, easy actually. I was expecting it to be more complicated because of the handle, but no. Not bad. Hmm, nice. Yeah. I would say I'm okay now. Uh, I got a few nicks there. I'll just check now. See if I need any touch-ups. If I don't, I'll do my alum treatment and I'll see you in a bit. We're back. So I did my alum treatment. Bit of feedback on the neck for a change. Um, I had a few nicks there but nothing much. So it was a really nice, nice shave. Close shave. Pleasant. Now, I was gonna use my Porasso Balm, but because this came in the package, I'm gonna try it. The Mule Aftershave Balm Aloe Vera. There you go. Just opening it up. And we'll test it out. There you go. Jeez, loads. Oh my god. Could, could use this twice. Uh, there we go. Hmm, this reminds me of the, yeah, it's basically almost, almost the same as the, but yeah, uh, the Parasa doesn't have aloe vera, I think. Or this is, no, it's the Nivea that it reminds me of, I think. I'm sure I used something like this before. Because the scent is the same. Yeah, it looks like the Nivea, I would say it's the Nivea. Hold on, I'm just gonna smell it there in a bit. Jeez, I really put a lot. <laughs> yeah, they definitely put a lot there in the in the package. So I'd say you can actually use it three times. There's still stuff there on the on the package. And it's fresh. Mmm. Let me just smell this. No, it's not the Nivea. Man, I don't know what it is, but I'm, I'm sure I used something like this before already. I don't know exactly what it was. But uh, I know this scent. And it's lovely. You feel soothing the skin. Yeah, actually, really nice. And it's fresh. It's not, uh, it's not really, really fresh, but you feel the freshness there. Nice. Yeah. I like this. Definitely, I'm going to have to check it out. Check their products as well. Yeah, I know this scent. Like I used some something like this before. It wasn't Mula, but I'm definitely, I'm sure I used something like this before, which I can't identify now. But uh, lovely. Yeah. Nice. 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 Yeah. Lovely. A really end to this shave, I have to say. Nice one. So today. For the shave of the day, we used Parasa White on everything. We tried for the post shave the Balm Aloe Vera, which is pleasantly surprising, really nice. I'm sure I used something similar to this. Not as fresh, but I remember the scent. And uh, I have here hanging the Mula Companion, still kind of wet, with still the same the blade inside, so I have to be careful. But um, I have to say, Lovely razor to look at, really nice. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, uh, razor. Um, the knurling, it's perfect. Besides being beautiful, it's perfect, it doesn't slip at all. Uh, no overhanging, which is brilliant for nose and ears. Brilliant, brilliant. It's mildish, it's not aggressive, that's for sure, but it's not too mild either. It's uh, a kind of going to a medium. It's a mildish razor, but going to the, the medium. 
there's a, a bit of a, a blade feel there. Uh, if you don't like it, I don't know. And it's not aggressive, it's not too much blade feel. I think it's the perfect, um, at least for me, it's on the perfect uh, side of, it, of things. Um, and it's not too aggressive either. Pretty efficient, uh, efficient I have to say. It doesn't clog up, which is brilliant. Just cleans easily. Uh, in terms of the blade, I can't say anything for now. I will have to try with a different razor or use this razor with a different blade so that I can think about this one. Um, looks sharp enough, uh, smooth enough, did the job nicely, so that's the only thing I can say about the, the blade itself. Uh, that's it, that's the video for now. Lovely razor, Mula Companion, gorgeous. There you go. Be perfect for traveling as well. If you can get something to cover up the, the, the head. Although you, will, you don't need it if you take the blade. Be perfect, perfect for traveling. And uh, ladies as well. I would say this is good for ladies shaving as well on the shower. I, I, I'm really, really enjoying this, uh, the, this razor, I have to say. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to put a like on it. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Ciao.